Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I don't even know what this is, but welcome back. If there is one thing that I can admit with my chest, like proudly admit at this point in my life, is that I don't know how to tie a gilly. And it's not like I've not bothered to try. I have tried and failed. Depending on what part of Nigeria you are from, gele is called different things. Gele is actually not the Igbo word for it, it's a chafu. The Yorubas call it gele, the Igbos call it a chafu. I don't know how to tie a chafu to save my life. Like it's so bad that I feel like if someone should come to me now with a sharp object and they're like, tie this gele now or I finish you. <laughs> I start crying because that's it. That's it, really. So you guys can imagine my happiness when I went on Instagram some months back and I saw the auto gele. I could not believe it. It was like a miracle and magic tied into one. So I have two different styles here. One is black and one is gold. I've had these for like a week now. Oh God, if this actually works for me, it's going to make my life 10 times easier. So out of the pack, this is the black one. I love the fact that this has beads that kind of go with the color of the outfit that I have on right now. And with this particular style, you guys can see that there's a crisscross happening here. The second one looks like this. So there is no crisscrossing going on here. It's just like your regular ghillie, you know, just, just goes across your head like this. So, so really quickly, I'm going to give you guys like a close up shot of the two, how like they look at the back. The gold one looks like this and it comes with this what's this thing called again there is um, extra material here that you tie at the end i guess and then the black one at the back looks just like the gold one it comes with extra fabric that you can tie at the back and then there's also extra fabric on top the same as like the gold one i didn't show you guys that but yeah it comes with extra fabric on top that covers your head i guess and then the same straps as well before I start trying them on, I just want to quickly say that if you're not Nigerian and you don't really know what these are, these are headgears that Nigerians, we wear them with our traditional attires. We wear them to weddings, parties, all kinds of things. As long as we're wearing traditional attire, this is something that would normally get to go with um, our dresses, okay? I just want to make sure that I secure it really tightly, okay? Personally, I like it when my gele is kind of like moved back a bit. I don't like it when it's this forward. I'm going to see if I can do that. But let me tie this. Okay, this makes so much difference. You see this thing here? Tying this bit here, it kind of just changes everything. This bit here, if you ask me, is so thoughtful and genius because personally, I don't like tying a chafu or gele over a wig. Like if I have a wig, I like to take it off and then tie my gele or a chafu on my cornrows. Like I did not kill anybody. Why am I trying so hard to cover my cornrows? Like it doesn't bother me, but I know that it tends to bother some people. So this is really thoughtful in case you're around people that it really bothers. Okay. <laughs> Guys, this is magical. Wait. So let me try to push it back all oh my days. My goodness. Okay, so I've moved in so that you guys can see a lot better. There's a little bit of wrinkling here. Considering the type of fabric that this was made with, like, this is to be expected. It's not elastic and it's really structured. But the overall structure of it looks good. This, in all honesty, I don't mind. I don't mind it at all. Um, I guess um, the tighter you pull the velcro, I think they're called velcro. Is it velcro? I'm not sure, but I'm still going to write the name out. Maybe the tighter you pull the velcro and then the tighter you like, you know, make the fabric like the better, I guess. I believe that maybe it should reduce this somewhat, but then at this point, I don't really mind. I don't think that they are bad at all. This to me is really impressive. Like you guys don't understand during the Christmas period when, because us Igbos, we travel back to the village for Christmas a lot. Like traveling back to the village for Christmas and trying to find someone to help you with your gele is like, I don't know how to explain how difficult it is. This is just the answer to prayers.
this is what this one looks like up close and i really really like it as well i especially love the fabric that it comes in i have a gold gele now and a black one i need to get a silver one and that's it i feel like if you're building a gele collection you have to start with these three colors and then gradually add depending on what you have to you know what colors come your way along the line then you keep adding more colors but gold silver and black is like a very nice place to start like i told you guys earlier i prefer the black one so i'm going to go back and tie that one in a minute but then if this was crisscrossed in front i probably wear it to sleep that's how much i love this fabric so you guys should let me know which one you prefer the black one or the gold one i know that some of you are wondering i got these from a store in enugu called bold and beautiful they both sold for 15k each and before i bought these i actually talked to a couple of like stores that i saw like that had these for sale on instagram so the first people that i contacted they told me that they were like everything was sold out and that if i wanted one that i'd have to wait for a month another store also told me the same thing i'd have to wait a very long time to get my order because a lot of them here in lagos are sold out they were all selling the gillies for around the same price as well and sometimes higher some of them go as high as 30 50k it comes down to the quality of their shoki that's the material it comes down to the quality of the material that they've made the echafo or gile with um however one of the stores that i spoke to on instagram they told me that they have this service where they can turn an hfo or gile that you already own into an auto gile for you so they charge like 4500 naira for that particular service if i'm not mistaken i'm going to put their details if i can find it again in the description box but if you live in enugu you can check bold and beautiful in new heaven i'm going to leave their details in the description box as well or if you don't want to wait i'm sure that this particular store that they can ship to anywhere in nigeria if you pay for shipping they just talk to them and then they will sh they can ship it out for you i'm sure have you tried the auto gele would you consider it they are really game changers in my opinion like they change everything and they are so easy to like install my god stall apply whatever um so i hope you enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter it's dimaome on both i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>